Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a really neat uh, quadcopter for you today. You ever get one of those uh, toy toys, brand new toys, that you just can't wait to try out? That's what this is to be. This is the Ishin Racer 180 Tilt Rotor. Uh, there's only been one other tilt rotor that I've flown here on the Quadcopter 101 channel, and that was the Wakira Furious 320. Now, the 320 from Furious, I wasn't really impressed with it. It was kind of big, bulky, kind of slow to accelerate. You know, you'd think it would be a little bit faster. And once you got it going, it would have problems. It had a weird yaw on it. Um, I just couldn't get that to fly straight. Hopefully, those are been, uh, problems have been overcome on this one. From This is from Ishin. Ishin's version of a tilt rotor. A uh, very neat quadcopter if we look at it, or tilt rotor. This is not a quadcopter, folks. You have to <laughs> keep in mind, this is a tilt rotor, which is something very different, and we'll go into that in a bit here. Uh, first off, let's start off. It has a 1,000 TVL camera, which is not too shabby. It has 2205, uh, 2300 uh, KV motors. Um, it comes with serious, seriously pro racing F3 flight control board. Its chassis is all carbon fiber. Very tough carbon fiber, by the way. But it has something that's unusual in that it has a servo in the center. Um, this servo it, with uh, push rods both to the front and the back um, arms for the um, rotor blades uh, that tilts these in sequence in unison together, either forward or back. Um, that's how you get the uh, tilt rotor action on this particular quadcopter. Um, other things, it has a two different canopies it comes with, uh, white and blue, and I chose to install the white one. They come with nice little stickers too. But also it has a 4S um, 1100 milliamp per hour battery to give it the oomph it needs to fly. It has these uh, real bright LED strips on both sides of the, the uh, tilt rotor to, um, I don't know, just to make it real visible. I guess if you want to do night flying, it'll show up real well. Um, additionally, 40 channel, uh, 350 milliamp per hour um, FPV transmitter and uh, that is about it. Um, let's go over the flight controls for this particular tilt rotor. The flight controls, um, I went into clean flight and looked at the setup here. Um, it comes in angle mode, which you activate by that, and acro mode right there. Um, this switch here is also active in clean flight, but it's your throttle hold switch, and uh, you turn off throttle hold by putting it in center position and turning it on either up or full down and and to start the motors, you bring it down and to the right. Now, I also went into clean flight and see, you know, since this is a tilt rotor, it's not really a quadcopter, I would not recommend at the moment anybody fiddle around with the clean flight settings on this because um, they are tuned for this to be a tilt rotor. When, what I mean by tilt rotor is when you give it forward pitch, this doesn't pitch forward. It's not supposed to. These arms will tilt forward and it will more or less stay level. It's supposed to stay level as you're flying around on um, giving it full forward pitch. You know, it, it just accelerates horizontally in effect. So, you know, if you go in there and uh, adjust the settings like it's a um, quadcopter, you might run into problems. So right now I'm going to fly this right out of the box the way the clean flight settings were um, installed in this. No modifications whatsoever. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Let's give it a try of the Ishin Racer 180. I hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, let's start this thing up. Um, to start it up, let's put it in the throttle first. All switches are up. Turning on the transmitter and plugging in the battery. This will be its first flight, folks. And make sure your wires are stuffed inside there. And turning on my 808 keychain camera. Make sure we get some video of this. I like this 808. I've used it so many flights. Make sure it turns on though. It's been through many crashes. And it still keeps on ticking great. Okay, let's hit record. It is recording. Now we take the throttle hold off and put it down and to the right, down and to the left actually, to stop it again because I want to start the timer. Five minute flight, we're going to go for it for this first flight of it. Down and to the right, and let's give it some throttle and get it into the air. Look at that. It does fly horizontal, folks, as advertised. <laughs> I want you to see that. It 
Takes a little bit getting used to, too, to see it like that. Look, back, it stops on a dime. Back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. <laughs> oh my God, it accelerates. <laughs> Horizontally, it accelerates. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> This is the way the Furious should have been made. Holy moly, folks. I've never flown anything like this one. But it is fun. Takes a while to get a little bit used to it. It's a bullet. <laughs> this is amazing. Let's bring it down again. Not for beginners. I don't even know if it's for intermediates. It takes a little bit getting used to it. It's, I've never flown anything like this. It, you know, it's it's just it feels a little bit unusual the way it works. Again, look at that. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, <laughs> right, left, right. It's like driving a race car in the air. That's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> Turn real fast there, too. Oh, my goodness, this is neat. Um, I don't know. The yaw is a little bit slow, but I think it's designed that way because of the speed it goes. Now again, it's got a beeper on it. My goodness, folks, have you ever seen anything like that? Well, there you go, the yaw picks up if you give it a good oomph. Coming back down low again. Yeah, if you give it a bank, you gotta be careful, you know, it just feels weird. Because when you bank it and yaw it, it does, it does turn fast. A little bit too fast, but. Boy, this is neat. Let me bring it in close again one more time for the remainder of the flights over there. Look how that nice flies nice and slow there too, when you want it to. But the Ishin 180s, something brand new. Something brand new, folks. Never see anything like that. Back, forward, back. I hear it's beeper beeping too. So that means we should land it. Ah, I'll wait till its beeper beeps a little bit more. <laughs> it's just starting to beep. I don't want to stop just yet. <laughs> but we'll stop it. It's about time. This again is its first flight. And let's watch it stop on a dime. <laughs> oh, that's neat. That is neat. This is going to be a hit, folks. There goes this beeper. This is going to be a hit. Throttle off. And video off. Oh, man, that's cool. <laughs> did I get it? Yeah, I got the video. And unplugging the wires. So what did we learn about this? The um, Eastin 180 racer. It, it's... It's freaking awesome. <laughs> I enjoyed that thing. You know, if you get, you hear me giggling, man, that this is a cool quadcopter. This is one you ought to consider, or, or, or what do you call it? It's not quadcopter, a tilt rotor. Something that this is going to be in everybody's stable. I can tell you right that right now. This is neat. Machine Racer 180. Um, it, it holds its horizontal position very well. Um, it accelerates like a bullet horizontally. Um, it does turn on a dime when you give it the pitch too at the same time it'll turn very fast so yeah this thing probably could be a, a really cool racer so hope you enjoyed that flight i sure as hell did <laughs> this is quadcopter 101 sighting at you know let's get a thumbnail of that thing like that okay bye bye